Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video, Cabbage Patch Jonah. No, I'm just kidding, but I am really excited. Some of y'all probably don't even know what the Cabbage Patch is. I'm sorry, but I gotta say it. I'm excited about this video, y'all, because this is a comparison video, and y'all know I love doing comparison videos, I love doing get ready with me videos, and I love doing first impression videos. Like, I just love doing videos, right? So anyway, this video, I have to give you like a little like background, okay? So I was looking at some of my comments and somebody commented and big ups to you, like shout out to you. I do not remember your name and I don't even remember what video you commented on. But the comments said, do you know that LA Girl came out with a new peach corrector? I was like, huh, come again? What, like, get, come a little closer, say that again? Yo. They came out with a peach corrector. So after I read that comment, I went on this crazy hunt. I actually found the corrector, but the day that I ordered it, I kid y'all not. The day that I clicked order was the same day I got a notification from LA Girl, like we're sending you some products. And I'm like, I wonder if it's the peach corrector. So I went to my PO box the next day, y'all. And guess what? I had the whole collection. So I believe they came out with three new shades. Don't quote me. I will make sure that the information is correct in the description box. There we go. I hope you guys can see the colors really, really good, or maybe I'll put a picture or something. So this color right here is the original color, which is the orange corrector. Now I have a video all about this where I compared it to Mac Peach Luster and I compared it to another Mac product. And also this is not a review on their concealers or correctors because I've already done a review on their concealers, which I will link below. I've already done a comparison on their concealers versus Mac and all that good stuff. And I already talked about the orange corrector. This is so Solely to try out this peach corrector and compare it to Mac peach luster and they're not exactly the same color but I want to see if it gets the job done you know what I mean now you have the orange which was already an original right this is the orange corrector so they came out with the peach corrector that's a little bit lighter than the orange now y'all know that one of my um, I don't want to say complaints but one of my suggestions was that they make a lighter color because this color was too deep for me but I also told you guys that you can mix it with your concealer or you can mix it with your foundation and you can make your own peach luster. You feel me? This is the yellow corrector and they came out with a light yellow corrector. Then they have a lavender corrector and they came out with a, I, I'm gonna say light lavender because I did not read it, but I think it's light lavender. And then you guys know they have the green. I don't think I have a light green. I think this is it. And they sent me something else, which I'm gonna show you since we're talking about LA Girl and I got it in the same package. They have new foundations and it is called the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. So if you guys wanna see a first impression on this or wanna see me do it like in a get ready with me with new products, let me know in the comment section, thumbs up, share, do whatever it is to let me know or Snapchat me, whatever. Just let me know that y'all wanna see it, okay? And I have six shades and they also have a shade that is white so that you can lighten it if it is too dark for you, okay? So they also sent these brow pencils and I definitely will be using one of these or maybe two in a get ready with me video, but I just wanted to let y'all know. So y'all know how we do. I'm gonna do one side of my face with the MAC Peach Luster. And in this corner, <laughs> no, just kidding. But I'm gonna do the MAC Peach Luster on this side and I'm gonna correct as I normally would. And on this side, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Peach Corrector and I'm going to correct as I normally would with this. I usually use my finger to just kind of pat it in because a beauty blender tends to share it out a bit, but I wanted to have one on hand because yeah, I don't know. But I put a little right here and then I put a little right there because I do wear glasses and then I correct down here. And depending on how life is treating me up in this region, I will use it there too, but we're not doing all that today. Cause it actually is in the evening time and I am not going anywhere, but I had to do this video. Now I'm excited. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Every time I try something new, I get a little nervous. Okay. Oh, I'm probably putting too much, but I'm doing that because this is what the video is about. I will say it's a little more pinky than peach though. I'm doing the most, huh? I know I am. Oh Lord, it's drying. That's how I give a trying to do a thumbnail. <laughs> you do not need that much under your eyes, but um, I got carried away, I got excited. Now, one reason that I like Peach Luster is once I put it on, like it's not, it doesn't leave much of a cast. It leaves a little bit of a cast, but I could totally put some powder on and then call it a day and just live my life. But we're gonna see how this one does. Okay, now this one isn't as matte as the MAC. You probably hear me beating on my face. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh. 
that is bright is not. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna share this out with my beauty blender. What you can do though, is you can take the two and mix them together if you want to. I'm not gonna do that because I have enough on my face already. Oh my Lord. I'm glad I ain't going nowhere. Did you guys see Freaky Friday? She's like, you're ruining my life. Uh, what is happening in my life? Uh, um, okay, cheer it out. They just need another one, like in between this one and the orange, like maybe a deep peach or just call it salmon or something. I don't know. Check this out. I'm about to change things around. Since we are here and since we are doing a video and since I have all this stuff in front of me, why not just go in with this, co not concealer, but why not go in with this foundation? I'm game because I mean, like what more damage can I do right now? We have warm caramel and then we have coffee. Let's just match it by my neck because like, yeah, we can't. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna mix these two and see what I get. I'm just gonna try it because this color right here is rich cocoa. That's definitely not my color. It has a whole lot of red in it. And then you have toast, which is, oh, oh, hold on. Toast may work. That looks pretty close. And if it's not right, I can always add a powder. Oh, that would be a blessing if it's just a straight color. Oh, it is illuminating. Look at me glistening. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Maybe I put too much. Let me try to pat some of that off with the other side of my beauty blender. It's so illuminating. I had to turn my light off. <laughs> I have combo skin, so I am not sure how this will work. I feel like stopping, but I'm going to be a good sport. And I don't know that this is a exact match. I mean, for the sake of the video, we're gonna leave it like that. But I am gonna use this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, it's a sample. And this color I only use when I don't really wanna do extreme highlighting, cause it's not my exact color, but it's not really like a highlight. It's golden 24. And so, you see what I mean? Gets the job done. So I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics powder and set it. You do not have to put that much foundation. My bad. But once I powdered it and got it on my face, it's not as bad. It's definitely illuminating though. Y'all see that shine a little bit still there? So this is basically what I do on a day where I'm not doing like much makeup. I usually take my blush copper by Becca and just put it on my cheeks and then I'm done. But because I'm so in love with this and I just got it, this ablaze by Makeup Geek, we're just gonna put that on. And then we're gonna put lip gloss on and call it a day. My favorite elf brush is actually drying, so we're gonna bust this out. I think this is a Morphe brush, but it doesn't have a name. I am gonna pop some ColourPop WeHo on my lips. Foundation looks pretty good, other than it not being my exact color. So now we know that I need to mix it with this color right here, which is the Warm Caramel. I would definitely do that, but I really didn't start this video with any intention on putting on the foundation, but I figure why not? But it looks good once I get it like set and everything, but do not put too much, I promise, unless you just want that super dewy look and I don't like that. So if you guys want like a review on this foundation and you want me to like put it on during the day and do a wear test and all that, let me know and I will do that. I just wanted to share with my fan bam because this is my very first time using the corrector and the foundation, and I figured why not bring it to y'all while I'm testing it out, all right? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up, and you can share it if you like, I don't mind at all. But you guys, if you were curious about the peach corrector, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. You guys have an awesome, blessed day, and do not forget to communicate with me in the description, not the description box, do not forget to communicate with me in the comment section so I can know your thoughts on what you think of these products, and feel free to come on over to Snapchat because I'll probably be talking about these a little more until I do the next video, like in the interim. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. this is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, CQ Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the CQ Beauty. Yeah, CQ Beauty.